I would have never said a year ago that this would happen on my campus. 30 something percent Jews, proud Jews, Zionists, you know, such strong Jewish and Israel community, pro-Israel communities. This would never happen. It happened. The campus is going to become more and more polarized. Things have, have just gotten a lot crazier and more negative on campus. The negativity and the loudness, the abrasiveness on campus make it difficult for me to be open about supporting Israel. I think a lot of students feel harassed and uncomfortable in their own living situation. I don't think it's acceptable criticism of Israel when Israel becomes villainized, when Israel becomes the big bad devil. You see these pamphlets that depict Jews with hooked noses and sucking children's blood, and I think that is classic anti-Semitism. Students for Justice in Palestine hold an event called Israel Apartheid Week where they lie about Israel for a week in a way that demonizes the state of Israel. There's people who are pretending to be soldiers at checkpoints. Oh, oh, no, that's it! Don't be Arab, then Israeli life is worth more than all of you combined. They were having a die-in, which is um, students lying, kind of pretending to be dead in the middle of campus. They're kind of trying to intimidate and frighten people on campus. If we just look at the issues that people are focusing on, um, human rights issues in general, these are issues that are, are not even on par with the human rights violations that are happening in so many other places in the world. From 20 to 12 to 1 that passes. <laughs> Pro-Israel students who spoke at the central student government vote faced threats from various groups. All of these disparaging insults, accompanied by threats of violence, are messages that I and other members of central student government have been receiving this past week. Students were also called dirty Jews, things like this. Especially those on central student government were called on the phone saying, we know where you live, like vote with us or else. To say that this is a non-violent, peaceful movement, I would seriously disagree especially with the number of emails and harassing texts and harassing voicemails and harassing calls that have caused me to miss class for a week. When there are times with high pressure, like during this divestment vote, um, students are definitely intimidated. A lot of the pro-Palestinian students were screaming and just very offensive towards the pro-Israel students who spoke at the meeting. It's a little bit scary because I kind of never know how students will react to my pro-Israel sentiment. Even openly talking with other students on campus and, and professors especially. So we can say this, and Hamas is a terrorist organization, sure. They also do great health care and kindergartens. Hamas doesn't recognize Israel. So what? You see it in Columbia, uh, uh, Saliba, Khalidi, Mossad. They're all tenured professors, and they're all espousing their very anti-Israel and distorted views on the students. As a student, the power dynamics are there. I, I feel powerless, in a sense, and very intimidated that these figures of authority and academic knowledge are basically invalidating everything I'm, I'm, I support. They will stage a walkout, in some cases even curse at the speaker. They're notorious for doing this. My only purpose today is that this event is shut down. Johnny Darwin's speech for Israeli apartheid. Johnny Darwin's speech for Israeli apartheid. And genocide at the hands of the IDF. It's nationally organized. It's not something that students came up with at the UNM.